so, so honestly, logically, your gods must be tragic. Because wow. Christians live 14 years longer on average. Wow. And we're the fastest growing faith in all of Asia. Do the math, kid. Which belief is more likely to have a god that's active? What's up, everybody? My name is Joshua, and we are Bold Follower. Here to share with you one of my all-time favorite Christian rap battle segments. And essentially what, what this is, is there's a, a group called Grind Time Now down in Orlando, and there was a battle between Isaac Knox, who's a very open Christian. He's in groups like the King's Offspring and Free Daps. He's very open about his Christianity, and a, a gentleman uh, who's a rapper against him named Hindu Rocks. And within this battle, essentially what happened is Hindu Rocks takes it a little too far. I can't share it because it's the language is really vulgar, but he basically speaks blasphemy and is no longer attacking Isaac, but he's attacking Christianity as his faith. And so what happens is Isaac responds with this really legendary round. So let's check it out. So a lot of Jesus jokes and stuff like that, right? A lot of Jesus jokes. Here we go, y'all. See, I'm no Mel Gibson Christian, all men and women of family. I regard Jesus as a great teacher of humanity. That's a quote from Gandhi. Let's cure your ignorance. My religion versus yours, learn what the difference is. Hinduism's into wisdom from multiple gods. Like you're hoping the odds is one of them's not bogus and fraud. So, so, so which one blesses you? You're a poor society. You lose wars, you're too poor, and we start a democracy. Yeah! So, so honestly, logically, your gods must be tragic. Because wow. Christians live 14 years longer on average. Wow. And we're the fastest growing faith in all of Asia. Do the math, kid. Which belief is more likely to have a god that's active? Yeah. Is it sad to see these actually effects you can't wound? I rarely preach, but since you had to speak blasphemy in this room, I'll let Hindu be the rock that blocked Christ's tomb to take him out on the third like you've got strike two. Yeah. I, I love this clip, and I understand why. You have to understand a little bit of, of our testimony, kind of where we come from. For those of you who don't know, I come from kind of a breakdancing or, or b-boying background. And one day I was at this competition, just a regular competition, kind of like this, but instead of rapping it was dancing and uh, in the middle of the battle everything stopped and this one guy gets up dressed just like everybody else and starts talking and then he moves into preaching the gospel in, in a way that i'd never heard before it was as unapologetic it was raw it was uncompromising it was repentance and salvation just a beautiful gospel message and it was just beautiful and, and he and I connected, I started going to his practices, right, to dance. I wanted to dance. And, but after the practices, guess what? We would crack open a Bible, be b-boying and then Bible study. And long story short, after being away from Jesus for a while, um, I started going back to church. Um, and it was in a community, uh, that community, that propelled me to get closer to God. And I share that story because in many ways, Isaac was and is for the rapping community, uh, the improv community, the communities that he touches with music, the same way Lito was for me in the dancing community. So I have a, a great appreciation for this. See, for a long time, teachers would, churches would kind of turn up their nose to uh, people who were in that those kind of hip hop communities, right? They'd see the people who rapped or did graffiti or danced or whatever, and they basically, basically, they were giving the signal of you can come to us, but you gotta clean up first. And we're not gonna go in and in, into your areas. But the thing is, people like Isaac, uh, people like Lito I mentioned, like these guys, um, it, it was on their heart be, that when they heard the Great Commission, in essence, it, it meant to go into all the world and preach the gospel, and that's exactly what they did. The world of hip hop, the, the world of whatever it was that you had desires and talents that were from God, for, of course, lay them down, right? You, you, there's, I, I don't want to say like everything you do, you know, you should keep doing, but lay it down and say, God, how do I glorify you with this? And sometimes he'll tell you not to pick it up, but a lot of times he'll, he'll let you pick it up. He'll bless it and you'll be able to move in those circles of influence that you have in the world that God has given you. If you want to say like world, world of influence, sphere of influence. And so people like Isaac went into the world of hip hop they were in these communities, and, and let me tell you, they were set apart. They were doing things a little bit different. They might not be cussing or drinking or some of the stuff like that. They were representing Jesus in those communities. They were set 
a part in those communities. And they were using their talents and their gifts that God gave them to reach people that may have not been reached otherwise. And this is so close to my heart because they reached people like me. And I feel like I am where I am with my walk with God because people in these communities attempted to reach their communities and didn't just shun them completely. And they, they brought the Christ's light into those where the traditional church largely ignored those communities. And so when I see Isaac out there doing his thing, it might not be what the average Christian is used to seeing a fellow Christian do. It may not be, you know, what, what, what your cup of tea is, but trust me, behind the scenes, when you get down to it, people like Isaac are developing beautiful relationships. And when the time is right, they share the gospel and God's word and the Bible and all these things to people who might not have heard it otherwise, who might not clean up and go to a church. They were having... These, these situations and, and so I see when I look at Isaac I see more than a rapper I see uh, a missionary an evangelist to the people that God put in front of him and, and a friend impacting his community in a very unique way that God designed and it is beautiful so the question is what's your community and how are you going to impact it for the gospel peace